Oh, folks. Folks, I gotta tell ya. I have seen a lot of shit in this so-called investigation of Stephen Avery. I've seen some shit that, you know, if taken apart, and if it were just one or two, it'd be like, nah, uh, okay, fuck-ups happen. But this many fuck-ups in a single investigation? No, 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 that bespeaks of intentional fuck-up. Now, the excavation itself of the remains should be a pretty good fucking indicator of the fuck-up that is Calumet County. This, this piece of paper right here, this bespeaks of not a fuck-up. This isn't an oopsie. This is intentional. And here's my proof. Page 420. Oh, you are going to love this shit, folks. Okay, so 420 of the Calumet County Sheriff's Record of Investigation is an interview of Karen Halbach done by Mark Wiegert. Wiegert sat Karen down in her residence. Oh, wanted to make sure she was nice and comfortable. And then proceeds to ask her if she had any other deceased children. What? Kids, this is really simple. At no time during any homicide investigation that I have ever seen, have I ever heard of an officer asking the victim's family if she had any more dead kids. Karen also stated she does not have any nieces that are deceased, and she only has one aunt who would be deceased, and then turned over pictures of Teresa and her family and friends for this investigation. What you need a female dead relative for, Uyghur? Huh? Were you going to dig them up and cut off a slice so you could char it up and get the mitochondrial DNA because you didn't have shit proving that those remains were Teresa's? Is that what you were doing? Because that's what this shit looks like. Folks. Now, this is the report. This is not even the transcript of the interview, which I'm pretty sure wasn't even fucking recorded. I will bet you dollars to donuts that no recording equipment was used during the course of that interview, and it was just Uyghur taking notes. So we will never truly know what was actually said, the verbiage used, nothing. We will never know that. But from what I'm seeing here, why the fuck would you go to a victim's house, to a victim's parent's house, and ask if she had any other deceased kids? That has no bearing on the investigation, folks. Even if she had other deceased children, what the fuck would that prove? Except for the mitochondrial DNA. Why the fuck did you ask if she had any dead nieces or dead aunts? What about nephews? What about uncles? What about brothers? Why did you need to know if she had any dead female relatives for you, Uyghur? Because you knew Seven Loki couldn't prove shit? Kids, Seven Loki is enough to determine the difference between a two-legged animal and a four-legged animal. That's it. That's all of it. You cannot tell pretty much anything. You can tell maybe gender and whether it is a two- or four-legged mammal, that's it. You can't determine identity. There is no mitochondrial DNA to be able to match anything up with. Nothing. Those remains could literally be anybody. And we have the Ken Kratz and Sherry Coolhane email to prove it, don't we? Yes. We have the email between Kratz and Coolhane stating... 
that even the FBI couldn't prove that those remains were Teresa's. So I ask again, where or why would you need female relatives? There is something very suspicious going on here, folks. I am not comfortable with this line of questioning because folks, quite frankly, I have never seen anything like this in any other homicide investigation I have ever heard of or gone through personally. Never seen it. Never. This, this is not standard procedure because what the fuck would it prove? except to have some kind of DNA to tie to those remains. So what the fuck was this all about? That's my question to you kids. Folks, when I said that Calumet County completely screwed the pooch and then proceeded to document it for me, I wasn't lying. According to standard police procedure, you must document everything. And of course, they're not going to document their planting of evidence, but they're sure as hell going to document actions that make you go, huh? The fuck is that all about? And that's exactly what this is. Page 420 in the Calumet County Sheriff's Report. Asking her about other deceased children, other dead relatives, other dead female relatives? You gonna exhume the body and slice a hunk off there, Uyghur? You sick fuck. It wouldn't surprise me. It would not surprise me. They've done everything but desecrate remains. And Lord knows that they are not above going that fucking far, kids. Ugh. I don't get it. Questions like this are not standard operating procedure in a homicide investigation. What the fuck does a fellow dead female relative have to do with anything? Unless they were killed by the same fucking person. That's about the only re way that you would know. So, and you know what happens when you ask questions like that? Say in the case of Mary Beth Tining, you know, the mom from the 70s that had Munchausen by proxy syndrome. And she killed all of her children. Every fucking kid she had, she murdered. You know, in that case, I can understand asking, you know, do you have any other dead kids there, Mary Beth? She was the fucking murderer. They're trying to make connections. Duh. So either they were accusing Karen Hallbach of killing her daughter, which, no, <laughs> no. Or they were looking for another source of mitochondrial DNA that they could char. I'm on to you, Uyghur. Fossbender, Kratz, you fucking scuzzballs. I'm on to you. There's something very wrong with you folks. Something very, very fucking wrong. All right, kids. I've got some more awesome shit coming your way. I just wanted to make this video right quick. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Mama Phoenix 6 You can also follow Clue TV at Clue TV Official on Twitter. And don't forget to boogie on down to CluTV.net. See what we got going on over there. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you soon.